Hello, I am on the mend. Thank you for your prayers. My jaw does feel like a hammer has been taken to it if I'm not consistently taking medication, which my dentist told me to alternate from ibuprofen and Tylenol every three hours. And I wound up traveling 45 minutes away to go to a dentist who does root canals. So many moving parts that day. I don't even know where to begin, but the Lord did open doors for me to get help from believers, from fellow believers. A secretary personally called the personal assistant of the dentist that I wound up seeing. She was so kind after I had been calling around for over an hour and had got such rudeness on the phone and apathy, even after I was trying to, uh, even after I would tell them I have an emergency situation. So the secretary was a believer. Then the dentist I wound up traveling to see, a believer. And I was in a condition, y'all. I, it was bad. But when I opened up, moving on though, I'll spare you all the details, but I'm on the mend and I just praise the Lord for that. I opened up to, did it, to today's reading and I, it was just, I needed to hear all this. I totally for I, I didn't look ahead, you know. I'm just trying to take it day by day at this point, y'all. Oh, give us this day our daily bread, right? So the title of the reading is called Yield Your Will. Listen to what it says. <laughs> so good. Uh, run your household in a godly way. Raise your children properly. Give up empty pleasures and seek to be simple, quiet, and humble. Let... Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. That's a driveway alarm telling me that Chris is on the way. Awkward. But it says, let your life be hid with Christ in God. This is what God is after. It goes on to say, Again, sorry. It's just a driveway thing going off in the background. But um, it goes on to say, learn to wait for God. Do not move until he directs you. <laughs> on Monday, I was in such a bad condition. Chris was like, babe, just go wherever. Forget about insurance. If there's an endodontist or someone who can do the root canal a stat, go to them. <laughs> So, oh, it just says, do not move until he directs you. And I just knew I had to find someone where it felt like God was leading me there. Each day will bring its own problems. Amen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just needed to hear all this. As you deal with them, you will grow deeper and deeper in God. That is if we are hidden in Christ, right? That's why they mentioned it in the beginning. Let your faith strengthen you. When you feel absolutely weak, you will discover strength that is not your own. So true. You will know that the strength is not your own. And if you go astray for a little while, then you will learn humility as you return. Your Lord lives in the center of your spirit. Return to him there as much as you can. Surrender yourself to God and learn to live by him rather than out of your own strength. Little by little, this learning to live in the Lord's strength will unfold within you. And no longer will you cling to things that you can see, but you'll cling to God within you. And there you will find deep, true fellowship. <laughs> That's beautiful. Those are the words of Fenelon. And if I put a verse at the end of this video, it will be something of gratefulness. So let me find that verse now and just send you off with whatever circumstance you're in. I pray that you find gratefulness by turning to the Lord. Let your gaze just continually be on Him. We have to die to ourselves daily because ourselves don't want to do that. We want to lean on our own insight and on our own strength, but we fall to pieces quickly when we do that. The Lord be your strength. The Lord guide you today and every day. In Jesus' name. And I'll see you soon.